So what's the catch? Why don't we have warp drive by punching a hole through space and time or by using the Alcabir drive? And the answer is energy. You need the Planck energy to do this. And we are far, far from being able to harness the Planck energy. Realize that with our atom smashers, our atom smashers can only get up to trillions of electron volts. But the Planck energy is 10 to the 19 billion electron volts. That's one with 19 zeros after it. That is an energy that is for a type three civilization. Now a type three civilization may be able to access this energy. You do the math and you see that yes, they would have the energy to, to warp space and time to perhaps even build a time machine, who knows? But it's not for us. We are a type zero civilization. We don't even rank on the scale of civilizations. One theory ranks them in terms of type one, type two, type three. A type one civilization is a civilization that harnesses all planetary energy. Anything planetary, they control. They mine all the light that comes from the sun. They control earthquakes, volcanoes, anything on the planet Earth they control. That is type one. Type two exhausts the power of a planet and they exhaust now the power of the sun. They just don't get a suntan, they control the sun. The entire output of the sun is used in their machines. This is a type two civilization. And we see this in science fiction, Star Trek, the Federation of Planets would be a type two civilization. Then there's type three. A type three is galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. They're able to play with black holes. And that would be Star Wars. Star Wars is a galactic civilization. That would be type three. Then the next question is, if they visit us, are they type one? Are they type two? Are they type three? Well, type one civilization can basically just colonize a few planets in their nearby sector of the solar system. So flying saucers probably do not come from a type one civilization. A type two civilization then, therefore begins to uh, understand the nature of stars. However, even stars do not allow you to approach the light speed that we need to go across the universe. A type three, however, may allow you to access the Planck 